In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to download a file in N8N in just five minutes. If you're ready, let's dive right in. First things first, you'll want to open up your web browser and head over to the official N8N website. This is your starting point, so make sure you've got a reliable internet connection to avoid any interruptions. Once you're on the website, you'll need to locate the sign-in option. It's usually found at the top right corner of the page, but this might vary slightly depending on updates to their site design. Click on Sign In, and you'll be prompted to enter your credentials. Go ahead and do so to log into your personal or shared N8N instance. Now that you're logged in, it's time to open the workflow from which you want to download the file. Navigate through your projects and select the appropriate workflow, making sure it's the correct one you wish to work with. It's always a good idea to double check, just in case you have multiple similar workflows running. With the workflow open, direct your attention to the top menu options, specifically towards the area where you can find the workflow history. Next to it, you'll see an ellipsis, which might look like three vertical dots or horizontal dots, depending on the interface and updates. Clicking on this ellipsis will reveal a drop-down menu, a crucial step in accessing the download option. Highlight and click on download from this drop-down list. This action doesn't just happen magically. It sets off a process where the application prepares the specific file you want to download. In some cases, depending on your workflow settings, you might be prompted with additional options regarding the file format or location. Select your preferences if applicable and continue. It's important to ensure that your file downloads successfully. Check your designated downloads folder or wherever your browser is set to save files. From there, you can open the file to verify its contents, ensuring that everything transferred correctly. If you encounter any issues, double check your browser's download settings or retrace your steps just to make sure everything was done correctly. That's all there is to it. You've successfully learned how to download a file within your N8N workflow quickly and efficiently. Feel free to rewind or pause this video at any moment if you need to go over a step again. Now you can incorporate this skill into your daily workflow management seamlessly. Thank you for tuning in today. Happy automating.